Hello everyone, welcome to another developer video, where in this video I will be talking about Roller Ghoster, a little game that I've been working on and off again. Uh, it's made with the Xenko game engine, which is about to be renamed to Stride. And this is a game that I've uh, started working on when I started with Xenko about a year ago, to get to uh, know the engine a little bit. And uh, I've stopped working on it for six months, but recently I've been picking up its development again. Because it's just a fun little game to play on, uh, to play and to work on. And version uh, 002 is available now for download from my website, agro.com. Uh, and you can just uh, start playing it. So one of the new things that I've added, uh, as you can see, which is, should be quite obvious, is that there's the online... Um, high score board which is directly available from the start menu right now you can still only generate levels or fill in a custom seed later on I will add custom made levels and you will even have a level editor and but that's something for later versions you can scale the window by the way now so uh, thank shout out to silent CLD for that tip so if you don't like the size uh, you can just uh, scale it around and, and it'll try to adjust as much as possible um, then to the right, to get back to the high score stuff, uh, we have the latest 10 seeds used, which I notice right now it's not entirely correct, because Let's Roll is not the latest seed I uh, tried, uh, so I'll have to fix that, that's probably a server side thing. But then we also have the top 10 siege seeds, which are seeds that have actually been finished, not just uh, the ones that we've been entering here in this uh, input box, and every time we select one of these buttons here, uh, the level gets generated, the seed gets filled in, and you can see that records are being retrieved online. Now the game should also work offline, but obviously uh, you will not get any of the top records and your high score will not be posted online. So uh, without further ado, let's just try out a little level. And let's start out with the test seed, which was the default seed in version 1, or 0.1. And as you can see, a couple of people have tried it. Uh, a shout out to those people, I don't know who you are, but uh, I really like it that you've been trying this. So let's just, um, let's fill in a name. Um, the name will be remembered this time, so if we would close the game and start the game back up, it will fill in that name. And as soon as we've done that, we can actually start the level. So what do we notice right now? Um, there are a couple of balls already going in the level, and these are the ghosts, hence the name Roller Ghoster. And these ghosts are from other users from uh, and, and their best score. So uh, one user can only get one specific ghost in the level. And as you can see, those the, the green one here in front of me, that's a ghost, uh, a ghost that didn't make it in the top three. That's where the gold, silver, and bronze are for. Those are, are the top three scores at the moment. And, uh, well, it's really tough to beat those guys in, in this particular level. Um, but just like always, uh, we can. if you don't like these ghosts, then we can toggle their visibility. You can see that in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can see the, the, the way we can toggle the gold, the silver, and the bronze. We can toggle all the remaining online ghosts, so the, the, the green ones, let's, let's do that for a second. And now the gold one, and now the silver one, now the bronze one. Uh, till we're only left with the local ones, which are currently some sort of a pink, I guess. Um, uh, the, the color scheme for those is not fixed yet, that's uh, something. Uh, maybe you can change that in the settings later on, uh, or turn their... Uh, visibility off by default in the settings that's I guess that's something I could use uh, or add later on and um, I, uh, another cool thing are the corpses if you've seen the previous video or tried out the game every time we try to restart then you'll see that we have this red uh, ball here which is a I call it a corpse it's a uh, it's uh, the ghosts and the corpses they're inspired by super mean boy the game you've ever played that game before it's a really awesome platforming game and I like to every time you finish the level you get to see those ghosts and all the ghosts how they how you uh, have tried to miserably try and complete the level and well that's something you can get to do right now here as well so just uh, just like the ghosts, you can uh, the local ghost can always be cleaned up so 
let's try now if we uh this is the visibility and number six is actually cleaning them and it starts to record it only shows you the new ghosts that are being recorded right now same thing for the corpses we can either toggle their visibility or just uh clean up the current corpses that we have uh, but that number of retries is still visible at the bottom right um, doo -doo 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 -doo. One thing left to add is a little bit about the game itself. You might have noticed before, and you might notice it in this particular level with this seed, is the way you look at the ball it, uh, has impact on the velocity of the ball. So if we would look at it from the top and we press forward, the W or the uh, uh, forward arrow key at this moment, sorry, no controller support just yet, and the ball moves really slow. However, if we look at it from a flat level like like this, then the the velocity increases a lot, uh, a lot faster. So the camera angle um, impacts the velocity being applied to the ball, and this is not just interesting for when you're rolling on the pathway itself, but especially when you are flying through the air, because when you look like this, then you know, some sort of like hyperspeed. If you <laughs> looks a bit like Star Wars uh, hyperspeed, but um, but uh, anyway, anyway, um, I'm getting off track. Uh, pun intended. So, um, <laughs> so if you jump and you look a little bit underneath the ball, then you will get a lot further. You'll make a, a lot more ground through the air, and this looks a lot like. Uh, so this is intentional. Uh, it's not going to get. A, uh, I'm gonna, not going to remove that from the game. Um, uh, if you've ever played GTA before, GTA 5 in particular, and you would have gotten on a motorcycle or a bike and you do this uh, this camera underneath look, then you will sort of, um, you will get this uh, this sort of glitched out. I, I don't think it's on purpose on G in GTA, I'm not sure, but you get this sort of flying behavior in GTA that you can, you can sort of fly through the entire world doing that. And it looks a little bit like that. So um, yeah, use that to your advantage to complete the levels. And actually Test Seed is a great example of that because uh, let's just try and follow the, the the gold and the bronze medals here. Whoops, I have to start it over again. Last, last attempt, I promise. Let's just follow these guys. And you see they, they are flying through the level and they're not actually even trying to follow the path. No, they just skip everything and oh, I missed it, damn it. Where is the level? I've lost it. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it I wanted to say about this uh, little game that I've been working on. Uh, I will be adding some custom levels, um, perhaps even an editor, so people can submit their own maps and some extra blocks, elements, perhaps even power-ups. Who, who knows how, uh, how far I'm going to take this, uh, this little game. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check it out from agro.com. That's where the download link is. And I'll hope to see those high scores uh, popping up real soon. Okay, that's all for it for now. Bye.